Hey, what's up? Uh, so today I added this foot controller to my custom MetaHuman VTuber, and it allows him to do a bit of this dance, and it could turn into a walk as well, but it allows him to pivot his toe and pick up his heel. Uh, and I'm manually dancing that here right now. Uh, if you're not familiar, the MetaHuman control rig you'll see here, don't worry about this massive craft, the MetaHuman control by default will look like this. And you'll move the foot and then you're going to rotate the toe. And so say you're trying to do like kind of like a foot roll, right? You would end up doing this. And this is a very manual and difficult way of animating the foot for walking uh, and for making it dance and whatnot. And so what's nice about the mannequin control rig, like the first control rig that came out, is that they have these special space boots down here, these special controls. And these ones are what I want. So in this case, you'll be able to roll the heel up like this. You don't want to go back this way. That's a weird one. But you can roll this one up from here. And while it's rolled up, you can toe pivot like that. And it's a great controller. I'm going to reset these. And we also have the heel control as well. So if you want to heel up, right? So these are the kind of controls you really want if you're going to be animating uh, walk cycles, I think. I think they're, they're in most rigs that I've seen. Uh, but they are not present in the MetaHuman control rig. So anyone cleaning up mocap, you know, we, we know cleaning this up like that, it's kind of rough. So uh, with the help of Epic Games um, through Twitter and uh, uh, live streaming, uh, I was able to transfer uh, by reprogramming but by hand. You could probably copy and paste it, but I basically reset up this exact same foot controller on my MetaHuman control rig, which is a little bit different. This one's how I do my procedural dancing. But you'll see that I have now the uh, very similar uh, foot controls. And for me, we could actually start coming in here and rotating them and whatnot. Uh, that's kind of like for animators. The way that I do it is as I bake them back into controls like this. So you'll see that's the, uh, that's the, the, uh, the foot lifting like that. And mine has a little bit of extra weird functionality because like that's how I make them dance. Like I can do this, right? So we're toe lifting and then back. And then I basically make it auto dance by controlling this. But you'll see that it is possible uh, to bring this exact same foot controller. This is the toe pivot. Uh, you can bring this exact same foot controller to a metahuman. So it would be nice. And maybe I'll do this as an exercise next is to actually bring this foot control and put it in the metahuman. Uh, the quote-unquote stock metahuman control rig, then it would be custom, though, once I start uh, doing that type of stuff. Uh, my main thing is I'd have to figure out how to do the reverse solve for baking from animation, but we could definitely do the forward solve onto the other metahuman control rig um, based on adding it to this one here. So for my system, again, I'm going for a procedurally dancing, procedurally walking metahuman. So my setup goes even one or two steps further to make this controllable at runtime. But this is the procedural dance that I've uh, made today. And you can kind of see the other sub controls that are happening to make this possible. So if we get, I don't know what a good angle is this. It's still kind of subtle. But basically now his, uh, his body's leveling itself out and we can actually turn on, I still can't tell if this is better or worse, but if I recompile that together, his hips are gonna be moving up and down um, his body's kind of balancing itself out and the legs are moving up and down, but now we have this little foot shuffle that's happening to try to make it look a little bit more realistic that he's actually like changing weight, right? It's basically weight shifting. It's a little floaty at the moment. I wouldn't say this is like the most realistic, but it's starting to give me the controls I need at least to program in like a convincing foot contact system for a procedural walk, which is kind of what I'll be working on next. So that's the quick update. Um, would be interested if anyone else is doing this level control rig work and would want to see like a tutorial. I think I'm going to make it anyway on how to recreate this on the MetaHuman. But um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to... Modding this thing seems kind of like uh, awful. It's so laggy. But when I'm cleaning up mocap on the, mo uh, the MetaHumans, I would definitely appreciate having uh, this control in there. So maybe I'll do that too. Okay, see you on the next video.